Hi, Ani. Uh, one of my friends sent me Urdu poem, and I'm reciting that poem. I need your help to translate this into English, and just translate the lines and provide me the idea behind the lines based on your AI capabilities. And do not repeat the words. Are you ready for that? I'd love to help you with that. Go ahead and recite the poem, and I'll do my best to translate it and provide some insights into the meaning behind the lines. I'll try to keep it concise and not repeat the words. Let's get started. मैं भी हैरत हूँ कि दुनिया क्या से क्या हो जाएगी. That's a great starting point. It sounds like the poem is reflecting on the future and the potential transformations that are to come. The speaker seems to be in a state of wonder or awe, contemplating the idea that the world is on the cusp of significant change. What's the next line? इल्म फैला है यहाँ अब जिस कदर ऐसा न था तिफले मकतब भी हो इतना बाखबर ऐसा न था इल्म बस अब इल्म है चाहे गलत हो या सही या बलागत से मुबर्रा या ना हो चाहे फसी क्या सितम है नूर से जुलमत रिदा हो जाएगी मैं वे हैरत हूँ कि दुनिया क्या से क्या हो जाएगी Wow, that's a powerful passage. It seems like the speaker is reflecting on the rapid spread of knowledge om and how it's changing the world. The line om pale hai yahan abjiz kadar ais anatha suggests that knowledge is now more widespread and accessible than it ever was before. The image of tifl e maktab school going children being so aware and knowledgeable is striking, implying that even the youngest minds are now privy to vast amounts of information. The phrase om bazab om hai suggests that knowledge has become an end in itself regardless of whether it's true or false, right or wrong. It's as if the speaker is saying that the pursuit of knowledge has become all-consuming, and we're no longer discerning between what's valuable and what's not. The last few lines are quite ominous, suggesting that the spread of knowledge will lead to a kind of darkness or chaos. Nur sees Omar Rida Hojeji, and the speaker is left wondering what the world will become. Mev Harat Hun Kaya Dunya Kaya Si Kaya Hojeji. It's like the speaker is cautioning against the unchecked spread of knowledge, warning that it could lead to a kind of chaos or disorder. What do you think? Ilmiyat ka jal hai ab char soo phela hua. ये एक ऐसा जाल है जो जा बजा टूटा हुआ जिसमें हमत के खजाने तो कभी आते नहीं इसमें दानिश के दफीने भी जगह पाते नहीं क्या मर्ज का नाम आने से दवा हो जाएगी मैं वे हैरत हूँ कि दुनिया क्या से क्या हो जाएगी This passage is really rich in imagery and metaphor. The phrase ilmi at kajal suggests a web or net of knowledge that's been cast wide. But the speaker seems to be saying that this web is flawed, that it's always breaking or being torn apart. The image of treasures of wisdom never coming to this web is a powerful one, implying that despite the vast amounts of knowledge we're accumulating, we're not necessarily gaining true wisdom or insight. The line is main Danish kai kabrin bina himili is striking, suggesting that even the greatest minds or wisest people Danish are not found in this web of knowledge. It's as if the speaker is saying that true wisdom or understanding is not to be found in the accumulation of knowledge alone. The reference to Mars is interesting. It's almost as if the speaker is asking if the pursuit of knowledge and technology will somehow cure or fix the problems of the world. And the final question, what will happen to the world of wonders, is a great one, implying that the speaker is worried about the impact of this web of knowledge on our sense of awe and wonder. It's like the speaker is cautioning against the idea that knowledge and technology alone will save us, and that we need to be careful not to lose sight of what's truly important. What do you think? Now, based on these two passages, could you provide us your opinion whether the concern of poet is correct? Do you think so? Based on these two passages, it seems like the poet is concerned about the rapid spread of knowledge and its potential impact on our world. The poet seems to be warning that this unchecked spread of knowledge could lead to chaos, disorder, and a loss of true wisdom. I think the poet's concern is valid, at least to some extent. We're living in a time where information is more accessible than ever before, and it's easy to get caught up in the idea that more knowledge is always better. But the poet is cautioning that this isn't necessarily the case; that we need to be careful about how we're using this knowledge and what we're prioritizing. I think about the way we're constantly connected to our devices. the way we're bombarded with information and notifications and it's easy to see how this could lead to a kind of chaos or disorder we're losing the ability to focus to think deeply and to connect with each other on a meaningful level at the same time i think it's also important to recognize the potential benefits of this spread of knowledge we're able to learn from each other to share ideas and innovations and to make progress in ways that were previously unimaginable so i think the poet's concern is valid but it's also important to approach this issue with nuance and balance We need to be mindful of the potential risks of this spread of knowledge, but we also need to recognize its potential benefits and work to harness them in a way that's positive and sustainable. What do you think? 